<laughs> Guys, this has been a hot minute. It's been like fucking... Okay, you know what? Before we even get into any of this shit, I just want to say this car is parked at my house right now. We are not smoking and driving. Right when this video is over, man, we're probably going to go watch a movie. Oh, yeah. <laughs> fucking get chill munch. out. Get the fuck, we already got much, bro. I got <laughs> fucking chips. I got fucking some soda. The Manila. What else do I have? Some chocolate. Dude, we're fucking good, dude. Now, this is going to be the first weed video that I've made in a hot minute. And I just want to be honest with you guys. I took a pretty fat break from smoking. Isaiah can confirm it. Oh, yeah, dude. He took I, like 45 days. Yeah, over 45 days of not smoking. So that's why I didn't make a video on 420. I should have been honest with you guys, but I was just kind of trying to do it on my own and not really like flex it or anything like that, if that makes sense. I was well, just... Another thing is like, I feel like it brings another stress level to your tolerance break when you tell a bunch of people. Because then you're like, fuck, if I don't do it, then all these people are going to be like, wow, you didn't do it, bud. You, you could fucking fail your failure. You know what I mean? So like, yeah. it just adds another level of stress to it. Exactly. You just like want to do it. And then like, like, be like, oh, I've gone a couple days without smoking. That's sick. I have nothing against smoking at all. Yeah. I'm about to smoke right now. The reason I took that break was just because I realized I kind of felt like I wasn't even getting high anymore. It was like one of the first things. One of the second things, my head was feeling so foggy all the time. Like I was getting pretty forgetful. And I was like, man, I need to take a decent break from weed. Clear my fucking brain up for a bit. Kind of get my priorities straight. Mm hmm. And uh, just kind of ease back into it. And what better way to ease back into smoking weed than having a nice, chill-ass car sesh video with my boy Isaiah. We already just filmed an Aegis Pod video. If you guys haven't seen that yet, go check it out. I got got it right here in my pocket. But uh, yeah, we're about two minutes in. So though. without further ado, let's just get right into this video. So right here, we got a fatty pack of strawberry cough. Super, super nice. Open the bag for you guys. Let you guys get a little smell. Smell that shit. Now, by the way, we live in uh, Canada, British Columbia, to be precise, and uh, it's legal to smoke weed in Canada. This is the legal limit right here, 30 grams of marijuana. But uh, without further ado, let's get a nice bust shot. Let's bust this weed up. Um, so strawberry cough is a hybrid strain, I believe. I have not smoked it before, so I have no idea the effects of it, but... I'm pretty excited to try it. Have you tried strawberry cough before? Yeah, I've tried it before. Now, guys, you guys do not want to be smoking these. I'm going to tell you guys a tip right now. I'm sure a lot of people already know that, but you do not want to be smoking stems, man. They can actually give you headaches and shit. I don't know if that's facts or not, but I read that somewhere. I heard, and I've just never, never really smoked them. Just stayed away from them, to be honest. I've heard an interesting fact about stems, but the comments should fact check me. I heard that if women smoke them, they get horny. And if men smoke them, they get headaches what yeah i heard that and i don't know if it's true i haven't fact checked it because i didn't really like look into or think about that much Dude, but, you're like, gonna have to test that one out with your girlfriend tonight eh? yeah i might have to eh? and you're like i've packed you a fat token she's like what is this it looks like it's just sticks yeah. and like, nah. babe, babe just the smoke kells it. <laughs> maybe i should just start grinding your weed up with stems now you know <laughs> yeah just throw a bunch of extra <laughs> stems in there some bones <laughs> There you guys go. There's the strategy. If your girl's not giving it, you know, just give her some stems. Just pull it out of the boneyard, eh? <laughs> oh, yeah. She'll be ready to go right after that. Oh. Okay. It's not the best grinder, just a little $20 grinder from the vape store, but definitely does the job. Hey, the dope grinders have great keef collectors, like no cap. They do. They actually really do. Check that out, ladies and gentlemen. A oh, nice, yeah. fresh bust. Holy fuck, I'm kind of horny right now, not going to lie. <laughs> Maybe it's toks. those stems that I smoked oh, in yeah. here, eh? Take some stem tokes, bud. <laughs> the keef levels are looking low. We might have to save that for another video. Yeah, it's probably because I, I smoked all your key. You fucking smoked it all while I was taking a break, man. Little you, left, you left the grinder at my house, and you were said you were taking a break. I didn't think you were gonna need it. It is what it is. So all we got left to do is just fill up the zong with water. Oof. Probably gonna spill some, guys. Don't judge me. You got it. I believe in you. It doesn't need a lot. I probably over. Mm. Just try it. See if it spills. Pick this up. Try it again. Maybe a little bit less water, Ben. Oh yeah, just a bit less. We had to dump a little bit of water out, but she's good to go now, guys. Oh, yeah. We're ready to sesh. I'm going to pack my first bowl. Not going to lie, I'm a little nervous, a little bit of excited. 
caught the butterflies in my stomach and all if you guys are sessing along with us though man let us know in the comments down below let us know what you're smoking on smoking on a blunt smoking on a joint you're probably gonna get pretty baked eh yeah i'm assuming so <laughs> not gonna take a crazy one but i'll take a crazy one for the boys i say we'll take a crazy one I... pretty much a full toke there so um cheers everybody it's summertime we got to get back into the weed videos you already know you already know light light this with me boys ready oh that shit tastes like candy bro damn I almost forgot what the taste of weed was, man. Just forgot what the taste of weed was. It's not even true, actually. <coughs> we smoked a joint the other day on our live stream. That was the first time I toked. Yeah, but like... That was the first bong toke I've taken, though. Bong I feel like it's different. different. They I feel do. like it's hella different. They hit way different. <coughs> <coughs> oh, fuck. I just spilled some weed in my pants. Dude, I already just lost 90% of my confidence right after I took that toke, bro. It's crazy, right? 90% of your confidence. Yeah, just like my life confidence just went down. Just went right down, eh? And now all I want to do is... I don't know. That's why I don't like making weed videos that much, bro. It's like, on the low, bro, when I get high, all I want to do is just put my chair back and just go... Oh, yeah, that's nice. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's nice. It's really nice. Right. But I can't be doing that. Cheers. That's a big one. Because that's not entertaining, man. Nobody wants to see that. That is a fatty, man. I'm actually gonna get a better angle of that. Look at that milk, bro. Look at that milk. Holy he's fucking dirty in the bong. This bong was mint before this guy just took a took out of it. Now it's just it's just fucked right up. I'm gonna have to clean it. It's gonna need a quick clean. <coughs> Holy shit, that does taste good. Yeah. <coughs> now, in all honesty, man. We low key hop on. We gotta go for like a walk or something, dude. We should go like to the park or something. We gotta get the fuck out of this car, bro. We're fucking baked right now. It's hot. It's hot outside. I feel like we gotta move locations. What do you feel? I feel that. Should we move locations? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Let's let's get the fuck out of here, guys. Let's go outside. Let's go into nature. Guys, the second I left that car, I went straight to bed. I was so fucking high. I was like, I cannot film anymore. And then I watched the clips this morning, and I was like, that is not enough for a full video. Like, I can't post that and be happy with it. So I'm back, I'm at the vape shop. Isaiah's here once again, and we're gonna roll up a dube and we're gonna smoke one and we're gonna end this video off in style, ladies yeah, and gentlemen. We got some strawberry cough in the grinder, but we're gonna make this join a little salad. So we're gonna add some black tuna as well. To those who don't know about black tuna, black tuna is a hybrid strain. It is a mix of black ice and tuna kush, and it's honestly fucking delicious. So it's strawberry cough so i think it's going to make an amazing combination isaiah's doing a good job filling up that grinder doing all the stems out too you know what that's more than enough for a joint i can already tell let's get a speed roll isaiah all see right. how fast you can roll this shit bro let's i want see. this shit in under 20 seconds or less these papers are wet bud they're a little bit damp, but if you, if you, um... Try to get in here and find me a good one. You'll find a good one in there. Find Look at that, one. there's plenty of good ones. There you ones. go, there's one. Plenty of good ones. Oh yeah, lick that shit, buddy. Boom, joint rolling tutorial. It's that easy. What do you got to say to the audience? Learned it from Seth Rogen. Watch his video on YouTube. It's fucking hot in here, so let's just get right into this video. I guess I can't even say let's get right into this video, because we've already been into this video. This is like a two-day video, bro. It's kind of kind of wild. Dude, this summer, you know what I'm thinking? Hmm. We should make more weed videos, but not just about weed. Like, we should just get high and go do some crazy shit. 
like fucking just explore. I think explore. things start with exploring. Just going to some. Cause we live in such a beautiful province, man. Like, there's honestly so much nice shit to see. Yeah, I was like watching. I saw this um one guy that I follow on Instagram who like literally lives in our town, and he's like uh, like a aspiring photographer. And I just see him take pictures. PNW of, Pacific Northwest. Just, he probably has that shit in his bio, right? Like, yeah, like and he just like literally takes the pictures of the most beautiful places and then he literally lives in our town and he's like this literally only 30 minutes away from home like that's fucked dude yeah like, dude it's such crazy. beautiful places people fucking travel all over the world to come here to see all like all the beautiful nature that we have and we we're don't even spoiled. really enjoy it as much as we should we're kind of spoiled i'm not gonna lie but yeah we definitely should or like boating that'd be fun take a video on a boat she took an l she wants her chicken bad. Boating, yeah, dude. We should fucking smoke a blunt on a boat. And then, do, like, do a segment of the tu of tubing. As long as... I feel like there'll be a lot of background noise, but fuck it. That would be sick. A fucking blunt on a boat and then go yeah. tubing and or water skiing. Fuck. I love water skiing, bro, honestly. Make fun of I've me all I've done tubing, but I've never done water skiing, honestly. I've done water skiing, wakeboarding, tubing... There's this one, it's like an air chair. Have you ever heard of an air chair? Maybe some of you guys at home have heard of them, but dude, they're so fucking scary. I remember I went on an air chair once and the whole time I was just fucking pissing my pants. What's an air chair? It's like... It's like a chair that's like propped up, like pretty high. Mm -hmm. so, and you're basically just holding on to the fucking rope and you're on this chair and it's like you're elevated pretty high and you just fucking rip so fast. That's fucking scary. And it's like fucking, if you fall off, dude, you fucking drop like 10 feet. That's scary. Wait, oh, yeah, honestly, kind of fun. So fun. Yeah. One of the cooler things I've ever done was fucking, um, what is it? Parasailing. That's something I want to try. I was so high in the yeah. air, dude. I was like fucking, I think yeah. we did the highest one. It was like 300 or 250 feet, dude. And we were just, I could see the whole city of Honolulu just right in front of my face. And That's I sick. was just like, holy fuck. And dude, I scared the fuck out of myself beforehand. The night before, I was just watching parasailing fails and stuff <laughs> oh like my that. God. And watching all these videos of the line snapping and shit. And people getting like just floating up. Because dude, when the line snaps, it's like you're just fucking moved by the wind at that point. So people just start going up to the side. Like you can just yeah. go thousands of feet up in the air well at least you're on water right? you dude if you're fucking fall hard enough though if your parachute breaks and you fall hard enough at one point water is just like concrete yeah i know i broke my back like um cliff jumping because of that really yeah you fucking landed on your back yeah i did i was jumped off a 45 awful. foot cliff when i was like 12 that's awful i landed on my back and so fractured it I feel like i'm kind of places. hogging this thing i'm sorry yeah. you can take a few minutes so, dude one time when I was cliff jumping, bro, I hesitated, and I, like, stopped mid-jump, mid, mid jump and I started sliding. I was sliding down the fucking, like, that's little fucked. cliff area, dude, and I just had to fucking project out. Like, that's I had to, like, lean forward and just kick out. That's it fucked. was fucking so scary, dude, because if I didn't do that... Like, you probably would have smacked into the rocks and died. Yeah, there's so much rocks under, I had to clear, like, a fucking 10-foot... Maybe not 10-foot, like, a 6-foot gap. Yeah, fucking... I love cliff jumping, dude. It's fun. It is fun. It's fucking scary as fuck, though, dude. Mm-hmm. I'm not even scared of heights, dude. I'm just scared of jumping from large heights. <laughs> well, it's like, like it's I don't like, care. It's I'll like I'm not scared of heights. I'm just scared of, you know, falling off of heights and potentially dying. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think that's a pretty rational fear. Yeah. Because every time I'm, like, so hyped to jump off a cliff, and if I smoke a joint beforehand or something, dude, I'll, I guess just, paranoid. You know, I'll just be looking down and be like, this could not work out. Yeah. <laughs> There's no yeah. guarantees You here. never want to be smoking weed right before you cliff jump because you're every time you're just going to pook out and either pussy out or be scared for like 15 minutes before you jump and then when you finally jump you're like why did I do that? Like, why the, did I, why this did shit I is not regulated. For that long? Yeah. This shit is not regulated right now. Like, <laughs> what are we doing? Like why do we just go to the high dive at ARC bud? <laughs> yeah. I know that's deep enough. I know I'm not going to fucking land on a rock yeah, if I right? jump off there. That's funny man. It just reminds me of one of my childhood. When I was like 10 years old, there's like this fucking, this swimming pool I used to go to uh, in Langley and there's, they have like a platform. Mm -hmm. They like added in this platform, bro. I know it's what like you're the fucking about, yeah. scariest thing, bro. Walnut Grove Recreational Center. You know fucking, um, uh, there's this place I went to in Edmonton with my like family all the time and it's like a Olympic swimming pool. So they have like the Olympic jumps and when it's open for, Those like, are savage, eh? for like public use people can use them and jump off them except for the highest one which is like 90 feet or something like that and it's like there's like this closed off area you can't get to to get to it i'm only pretty like, done with only, that only olympics people are allowed to use it and like i jumped off the highest one and it was like 60 feet yeah that shit was insane but like holy the, fuck the pool eh? is like 20 or 30 feet deep so it's like perfect for it it's like fucking yeah it's sick 
Fuck. Still takes a lot of balls to do though. The adrenaline rush you get is like unmatched. Yeah, it's fun. So fun. We definitely gotta enjoy this fucking summer, especially if um I don't know about you guys, where you guys are living, but everything's going back to normal here in BC just because we like have barely any cases of the coronavirus. Like they're opening restaurants back up next week. Yeah. They've opened up a lot of other stuff already. Uh, yeah. The gym is opening on the 19th as well. Well, Super not, not for that. fully, apparently. Really? Apparently, it's like they're 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 op- they're allowing them. Like, there's no restrictions anymore. It just but, depends on the but uh, the liabilities and all that shit has to go with the like. It's now falling in the hands of the company. So it's lots all of under, companies aren't opening under yet. the company's discretion. Yeah. So basically, like, yeah. lots of companies are still gonna be like probably taking some time to before they reopen because they're gonna set like social distancing measures in place. Yeah, dude, the treadmills are so close yeah. to each other at Planet yeah. Fitness. It's probably pretty sketch. Yeah, and they're gonna also have to train their employees how to like. You know, do deal with. When you're done well. with that, you can just put it in the water. By the way, we just fucking gas that joint. That was a good time. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys want to see more videos like this, hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to drop a like. And if you guys have any comments, constructive feedback, hate, love, comment section down below. It's for all of that. That's what it's meant for. Peace out, guys.